Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to Zelda. Guys, what do you say we have a boss fight? It is time once again to fight this Gerudo Desert boss. To the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I do offer you this trial. In exchange for Naboris' emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. <sighs> Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. I hope they explain that at some point, because I don't know what the hell they're talking about when they say that. Probably going to have to cut out a lot of this white screen because the load times, <laughs> they are lengthy. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. I mean, they could at least mix up the text a little bit, you know? Hi, how are you doing? Okay, let's check our loadout here, guys. We've got a Scimitar of the Seven and an Edge of Duality. Those are two pretty good weapons in terms of swords. No bow or arrows. Interesting. And we've got two shields. Okay. And as usual, we've got the uh, traditional Desert Garb. Upgrade level two. A little bit of food to eat. That's not going to restore much. That's worth two hearts total right there. All right, we get two extra hearts. You know what? That's all we're gonna need, goddammit. Ah! Da, da. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit! Okay, he's making me drop everything. I was gonna try and deflect that back, but I guess that's probably a really bad idea. I was not ready for this, guys. Oh, shit! He is kicking my ass! Wow, how do I... How do I fight this guy? That helps. It's already gone, though, so I can't rely on that for the whole fight. Okay. We gotta rely on uh, flurry rushes, I think, here. Oh, the shield helps, too, obviously. But if I could get a flurry rush on that, that would be ideal. Probably not worth trying to uh, knock back the lightning attacks. Right? Just wait. Do that. Break his guard. Okay. Alright. We got this here. We got this. I guess I'll go ahead and eat that food right now because no reason not to, right? I'm not going to get the chance to cook it or anything. I don't even know why they really bother giving you that, honestly. It's like... Oh... It's like, is two hearts really going to be the difference between life and death in this fight? I kind of, like, find that doubtful. We're almost to phase two, guys. And that's when we can use our lightning attacks. Damn it. I want to get a flurry rush on one of those, but it's really difficult. Alright. I should just keep relying on the shield, I suppose. There we go. Now, as we know, this phase is going to be more difficult, but we have our lightning to rely on. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Whoa! Shit. Right, he calls down the lightning with these things. We have to use them against him. But to do that, we have to find him first. <laughs> there he is. Got him. That does a shitload of damage in itself right there. I didn't find him in time to attack him, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> I made him mad, though. Definitely did that. Wow. Where'd my sword go? Where'd my sword go? Okay, I don't know where that sword went, guys. <laughs> oh, I have it. I didn't think I had picked it up yet. Get the fuck away from me. See how you like this. I don't think he liked it, guys. I don't think he liked it. I think I made him mad. Come on, try your bullshit again. Try it. I dare you. Oh, shit. He's trying this bullshit! Okay! Well... I didn't die, but I didn't really get a reflect either. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with that. You know what? Okay. We'll just do this. Here we go. Nope. Didn't get it. I really don't want to waste the lightning. If I end up charging it up and trying to hit him, he could dodge it if he's not already stunned, you know? That's my whole issue right now. Son of a bitch. There we go. Wow, that didn't even do anything to him. But it set him up for this. Little fucker. Got him. Well, well, though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. Ah, uh, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Urbosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the Divine Beast Von de Boris, which Urbosa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Urbosa. Recall Naboris's champion of sand before she was lost to the land. Chief Urbosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. <laughs> Great song. That one's definitely in the top of the charts. I'm sure of that one. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you 
you so serious, Urbosa? Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Those guys are assassins. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Hmm? Halt and face me. I knew it. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> Princess, you may keep your lives. Now go. <sighs> you asked me why I called you little bird. <gasps> when you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Hmm. Though she was a fierce warrior, the Gerda chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. Mm. So, what do you think of Champion Urbosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of Champion Urbosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Awesome. Herbosa's Fury Plus, Champion Herbosa's Divine Gift, summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area, trigger with a charge attack, and now requires less time to recharge. And we have completed EX Champion Herbosa's song, guys. So... A, Urbosa was a pimp and a badass, but we already knew that. <laughs> uh, B, it would have been funny if Princess Zelda was just like, Yo, F that noise, kill those motherfuckers. <laughs> I was really hoping something like that would happen. But alas, it was not to be. And uh, C, kind of funny that back then the Yiga were after the uh, Thunderhelm. It seems like that's really the only plot point they can come up with for those Yiga guys. <laughs> Apparently their entire existence is centered around trying to steal stuff from the Gerudo. That's actually kind of funny. But in any case, I've actually given up hope that any of these upgrades will actually be anything that changes the properties of the attack or anything like that. It seems like they're pretty much all just going to be reducing the cooldown. Which is fine. You know, that's cool. I like it. Uh, it would have been better if it was something a little more, but what are you going to do? So we've got one more of these. Go ahead and use that up. And then we can come in here. And we can see Urbosa's Fury now cools down in just four minutes. Um, I think it was like ten minutes before. I'm not 100% sure. But I think. So that's a pretty significant upgrade to that. And I could not see this little guy from back there, but we already have him. And I just want to look around for a second while I'm up here. I don't think we really have anything else to do in this area, guys. You know, as always, I'm going to do my cursory glance around and look for shrines that we may have missed at some point. Looks like we've been pretty thorough around here. Yeah. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say about that cutscene. 
they played a really, really beautiful version of Zelda's Lullaby. That was the name of that song that was playing uh, towards the end there when they were talking about how Zelda's mom used to call her a little bird and whatnot. And that's a really beautiful song. That's a beautiful rendition of that song. I think that song first came around in A Link to the Past, but it became very popular in Ocarina of Time. You could actually play that song on your Ocarina in that game and uh, it kind of factored into the gameplay. So it's cool. It's a cool throwback. Anyways, guys, I think we are done here. It is time now to go to the last location for this DLC, and that's going to be Death Mountain. We're going to do the Goron region. I'm excited for this one, but I have to uh, set that quest to be active because I have no idea where the spot is. I don't know why it deactivates it once we finish a section, but it really does love to do that. Whatever. And now we can see that it is... Right there? Yeah. That should be relatively easy to get to. We'll go ahead and teleport right here. And I am immediately on fire. We should fix that. <laughs> we actually... I think we actually only need one of these pieces which never made any sense to me, so sometimes I forget about that. But I think as long as we just have, like, the helm on, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot of logic to that as far as I'm concerned, but whatevs. We get to keep our champion's tunic on. We get to look sweet. Also, I guess I should change my pants to something useful. Because I think I'm wearing heat-resistance pants right now, so... Let's go ahead and switch those out, too. And since everything else is on cooldown right now, it just occurred to me, I never really checked the new uh, cooldown rate of my super jump. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple of these in my quest to get over here. Have I ever climbed up on this thing? This big rocky Goron sculpting of the big dude giving the thumbs up? I don't think I have. I'm kind of surprised there's no Korok or anything here. What about over here? Just an old dilapidated minecart. I wonder where this goes. Have I taken this before? I mean, I feel like I've been through this area pretty thoroughly. But who knows? Let's just go see. Oh, this takes us to the shrine, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not really all that helpful. <laughs> Alright. I had to know, guys. I gotta say, though, I'm really, really surprised at how long this DLC is. I was not expecting this kind of length. It's taking quite a while to get through. Not a complaint. It's a lot of extra content, and I like it. And I gotta tell you guys, I, uh... I don't want to say this with authority, because I could be wrong, but I wonder if, at this point, I now have the longest Zelda Let's Play on YouTube. <laughs> I haven't, like, gone around and tried to look at all the Let's Plays to, like, confirm that for myself. If anybody knows of any longer ones, let me know. So I know some of you guys watch multiple Let's Plays, and that's cool. Um, I've watched some myself, honestly. Not to the end, though. I've tried not to... Not to I've tried not to spoil things for myself. But, you know... I make Let's Plays, and I watch them as well, because, turns out, I like them, which is why I started making them. But I've never seen a Zelda Let's Play that had as many episodes as mine does. And maybe you consider that a bad thing, because <laughs> it's taken so long to get to where we are. And we still have a ways to go, but whatever. It is what it is. I applaud your courage in coming here. It didn't take all that much courage. You keep saying that, and it's never true. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. <sighs> okay. That looks simple. I like that. Don't get to see the other ones yet. <laughs> Oh? 
That light. Is it a reaction to someone nearby? Is it me? Or is it... Aww. What's this? A traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. It must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir, just as I did. Is that so? Um, no, actually, it's not. Oh. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat, just like the Gorons. Nope, still not right. <laughs> as for me, if I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a baked bird. <laughs> well, never mind my amusings. Look, I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials the champion Daruk overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudanya's champion. Never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Champion, trials await. So, did it move you? By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm closer than ever to completing those key verses. I can imagine it vividly, the champions' vigilance from a hundred years ago. Mm. My teacher always advised that, to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot, talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Yunobu and Bluto in Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled me with some uh, rather interesting stories. I'm certain the stories they share will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. Awesome, thank you. Now since I got thrown right into that, I didn't get a chance to check the cooldown. This thing I've been trying to check for like eight videos now. But looks like it's active again in 128. Uh the problem is I don't know if that time during the cutscene counted or not. If it didn't, then the cooldown is only like two minutes. If it did, then it's probably like four minutes. I don't know, guys. Fury is ready. I'm never going to get a real answer to that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. You guys know the drill by now, right? We're going to take some pictures of these. That one looks very simple, but I'll stow it away regardless. This one right here. That could be a little trickier. I don't know. Want to see, want to check the map, see what sticks out to us. And then that one right there. Whoo. That could end up being the trickiest one. Can I get a Can I get a closer shot of that? You know what? That's annoying. I wanna get I wanna get that in full view. But the picture I snap actually kinda zooms out a little bit. Like it doesn't zoom into the box. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So, let's go to the album. And we can go ahead and delete these. We don't need these anymore. Let's see. X. X. No, oh, select multiple. There we go. And uh, I guess we don't really need all these. We don't need most of these, honestly. Eh. No, not all. God damn it. Still not used to all these uh, different controls on the Wii U Pro Controller. The buttons are so swapped. So now we hit X. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Guys, to me, the, uh, the layout of the Dreamcast controller is forever burned into my memory. Like, X is on... The button on the left and Y is on the button on the top and then A is on the button on the right B is on the button or sorry A is on the button on the bottom and B is on the button on the right when you're talking about you know the diamond configuration 
And they're always swapped on Nintendo controllers, and it always breaks my brain when I try and use it. <laughs> it's just a thing. It's because I was such a Dreamcast kid, and I played so much Shenmue with the QTEs that, uh, that's like seared into my brain, that configuration. Anyways. Okay. So, let's start with the easy one, I suppose. There's one right on Death Mountain. If we check that out... Right there. It should be... If we look at the center of Death Mountain, it's just, like, right there. It's actually really close to the... to the Divine Beast, which is interesting. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Awesome. Rivali's Gale is ready. So I guess we'll just fast travel right back to the Divine Beast, and then we'll be really close to that point. 